Hello friends. So in our last blog we had seen uh, one to many currency conversions and how to do that. Uh, in this blog what we are trying to attempt is uh, a many to one or many to many currency conversions and what is the difference in the data model and, and how do we configure that. So that is what uh, we are going to look at this blog. So going ba uh, back to the data source view we had uh, or the data model the data, data model for for one to many currency conversion was something like uh, this so there is a, a small change when we go for a many to many currency conversions and so we directly link the uh, transaction table with the with the currency because each of the transaction table has a currency key in which the data is or the transaction is recorded so uh, it's a one to many between the transaction to dimension currency uh, table uh, so that's the change uh, that we have to uh, to do on the data model uh, now moving on let's try to add the measure group that's our currency rate and let's delete everything and let's keep average rate and we call it average of children and let's declare this as the type as exchange rate so that's what we do uh, in the dimension we will have to in from the date key dim date so let's we have let's call it due date let's connect the date key and so that's that's all your dimension usage would look like however i uh, since i have uh, we can also uh, connect all these uh, with the help of the date keys and that can be done very easily uh, so that's that's done for us uh, so now we are set to to process our cube and then take help from the business intelligence to help us devise uh, the many to many currency conversion uh, now let's go ahead and use our currency conversion wizard and let's so we have to call one of the currencies as the pivoting currency as we've done uh, for the last one to many conversions also and since we are using uh, sales amount and the exchange rate we have to define the measure and here we say many to many currency conversions so once we see that we get the currency fact table identified by the dimension basically so that's where you have to identify a dimension and then you can have the reporting currencies I, I go and select in all that would create a script for us and that's done so once that's done, let's try to process the cube. We've processed it. Now let's take a look at the browser, uh, reconnect it, and I put the sales amount. So this is the sales amount. Uh, now going by let's use the reporting currency so various currencies and uh, I mean currently it's uh, I've selected three of them the euro the U United Kingdom pound and the USDs and if I were to add the due date also so this is going to convert your currencies uh, from one recorded currency to any other in which you want basically the locale wants uh, the cube uh, measures to be delivered as so that is what this currency conversion would mean uh, so what we have taken a look is this currency conversion uh, many to many conversion is actually taken help from the business intelligence 
a wizard and it has created a reporting currency dimension as you can see here it has created that uh, however we uh, and we already have a dimension a currency also so why aren't we using the same currency and and uh, deem currency and then trying uh, and then try to prepare uh, the currency conversion uh, and not take the help of the wizard uh, yes we can do that uh, and that is what we'll uh, we are going to see in our last next blog on how we can actually do away with the wizard and how we can actually convert the currencies without them and with our manual scriptings and, and how we can do that so stay tuned and take a look at, at the next blog as well thank you friends